Welcome to the Mixed Reception Podcast. I'm your host, Barrett Sigmund, and it truly is a new beginning. Um, it's just me and Molly. Uh, Jeff and Austin got me too. Uh, Jeff in episode two for having the hots for the underage girl in part two, and, and Jeff for having Wait. the hots for Coy Feldman. Okay. You, you said, said my name Jeff twice. twice. Yeah. You said Jeff twice? Yeah. And Jeff got double mutued, and Austin Gormlin is scot free, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. And I, fuck that I, up. I never said anything about Corey. You so said he was hot. We heard it. You said, don't my, I, you said my glasses are fogging up with passion. I don't think I said anything about I heard Corey it. Feldman. All right, I fucked that joke up. Yeah, yeah. honestly. Like, I, like, shocker of the year. But. <laughs> All right. Ooh, babe. All right, so Friday the 13th, part five, a new beginning. Ooh, baby. 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 What do we think of Friday the 13th, part five? Ooh, Ooh baby. baby. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so here's the thing. When this movie came out, I think a lot of fans felt duped because Jason wasn't in it. He's not the killer. Bum, bum, bum. But I gotta say... I knew it was him the whole time. You did call it out. I always called it out. Oh. Watching this, it's... They, like, they made it pretty obvious who it was. In the beginning, that guy was creepy. Well, well, they kept on lingering. Like, those shots, like, kept lingering. And you're right. like, why are they <laughs> lingering on this random character? Like, why are we featuring Ray, the EMT? <laughs> um, but I kind of liked this movie. I, I, I thought it was good. I dare say I, it's a good movie. I, I like how it takes. It's basically, I mean, it follows the same formula, but it, it, it... It's not on Crystal Lake. It's not on Crystal Lake. It is a new location, but it does something different. It's, okay, okay. Yeah. I think I think this is like the campiest, cheesiest one that I've seen so far, but it was so fun to watch to me. Um, yeah. And we need to talk about this this facility. The worst facility that these in the teams world. Are at. Yeah, this is they they're like, oh, this is like basically like this is a mental facility, but we An institution. We, there's no ru- rules here. You're your own boss. Do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, here, have an axe. Chop some wood, the you kids crazy are maniac. Fucking in the woods. <laughs> Here's a kid with a stutter. He's been here for eight months for no reason. Right. Uh, None of the people <laughs> belong want, there. The redhead girl that the stuttering kid wants to fuck, I, I think the only reason she's, reason she's in there is because she has, like, like a hundred stuffed animals. Yeah, she has I think that's the only animals. reason she's yeah, in there. Yeah. Then there's just two horny teenagers in there. They keep fucking in other people's yards. Like, find another <laughs> place to fuck. Also, uh, there's... <sighs> there's the stutterer. There's the stutterer. We got the redhead. Chocolate bar. Chocolate bar guy, who he probably does need to be in there. Yeah, yeah he's in the world. Also, oh, the girl that dances. So, I guess she's in there because she dances and doesn't like, like the, listen to anybody because her headphones are on okay, all the time. When yeah. she, during that dance scene where she's like just like roboting or whatever, Jeff said, I could watch this for hours. <laughs> I agree. I honestly was her, so entertained. She had some good moves. It was the most unique <laughs> dance I've ever seen. Like, whoever. Jeff, could, Jeff could watch it for hours. <laughs> I was also, intrigued. What's with the greasers? Oh, yeah. The it's greasers. the 80s, and there's greasers still. Well, the Ramones were popular in the late 70s, so maybe the greaser yeah. movement. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't call them greasers. That was like a very like 80s kind of punkish look to me. Should we talk really quick just about like the general plot of this movie was Corey Feldman's character from the last movie. It's him like years later, and he has been in – mental hospitals his entire life and now he's going to this like halfway house in the woods which is yeah. basically just like a lawless land where everyone's <laughs> but uh, molly i think you're being very generous by calling that a plot i would call that a premise but this movie had no plot okay that's the premise yeah none of them yeah. really have a plot yeah no, i sorry, mean i didn't realize we're talking with like a f- official writing terms uh, no, we're talking about the saying, opening like, credits there was not a, a recap. Thank God. Thank you. I don't want a recap. Yeah. I don't like the recaps. But I this hate one, the recaps. I feel like this one also had the worst start to the movie. Like it was. Oh God. 
Corey Feldman in the beginning was just like, oh! 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 Yeah. Okay, also, let's talk about how that grave was ground level. Oh, yeah. It, it was just a mound of dirt, but like level with the ground. <laughs> yeah, the, the lid of the casket was at ground level, and then it was just a big pile of dirt. That, so oh, those two dudes are so stoked to dig it up. They were like yeah. pumped on that. Oh, yeah, the one guy was like, <laughs> He was, like, getting really into yeah, it. Yeah, they were, like, really cheering happy. really loudly while doing like, it. Like, yeah, fuck uh, yeah, let's dig this dirt up. Woo! Yeah, on, fuck hurry, yeah. Hurry. Oh, yeah, they were in a big rush, too. They kept going, hurry, hurry. Which, yeah. I don't know why they were in a rush. I mean, well, you, it's you a dream. Think. I mean, nothing has to make sense. Oh, yeah. Oh, true. true. I guess it was a dream. <sighs> yeah, it was a dream. It was all a dream. I used to just watch Jason <laughs> kill people. It was only just a dream. Also, well, but like in the, but I mean, it is a dream, but like, I mean, this is kind of fun. Like, why did they bury him with a machete? Yeah. And in his hockey mask. And his hockey mask. (laughs) And I was like, that's how Jason would like to be buried, I think. And who, like, who buried him and put up a tombstone and made it, got a casket for him and stuff? It wasn't his mom. Wait, no, his mom did come back at the end of the last one. Oh, the third one. Third one. Oh. And also, the name Jason Voorhees was like graffitied on his tombstone. It was a very <laughs> his tombstone. His tombstone was just like three planks of wood. It wasn't his <laughs> stone or anything. Also, in his dream, like Corey Feldman just doesn't run. He just stands there, and he looks like he's like coming. So <laughs> there's a lot of shots where people look like they're coming in this movie. Yeah. I also, I also want to quickly, um, not even quickly, at length, talk about my, Speaking of coming. my favorite characters in the entire movie. Regis, Reckless Reggie. No. no. Oh, he's my favorite. Those fucking, I like him. the hillbillies. The mom and the, the, mom and the son on the motorcycle okay. where she's like, come eat your steak. <laughs> oh, they were ridiculous. I, I got him, Junior, as being down as most annoying because when he was riding around in a circle right before he got his head chopped off, I was just counting the seconds. I was like, Honestly, please kill this motherfucker. Once, once he his, heard me, mom. When his head got chopped yeah. off, I was like, thank God someone shot him up. Right. Yeah. Also, God. When he's driving, when he's riding around and he's like on their porch, yeah. I think they use the same shot twice. I think it was a 20 second shot that they fucking just Replay. cut. Yeah, I think in editing, they were like, oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, because he would just reuse the shot. When he drove up on the porch and back off of it, like he did it in the same exact way both it's times. The it was the, it was the same pretty shot. I'm pretty sure it's the same, same also, shot. Also, like we have to add 45 full minutes to this movie, so let's we just gotta get the feature link. Shot. We gotta get to 90 minutes. So, but I do think, though, speaking of adding time, I think they cut a lot of scenes Ooh, because yes. in the middle of this movie, there was a Maybe lot of like Austin knows. inconsistencies. So when Did you notice anything that didn't add up? Okay, so maybe we weren't paying attention, but I okay, you know that scene where they take Tommy with them to so the uh reckless Reggie can see his brother, which we'll get into that. Yeah. Ooh, enchiladas, but but I thought that Tommy went back in the truck with them, but then they like go back to the 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 I guess the camp. I, I don't know, what do you call it? Halfway home the house, and yeah. he's not with them. Am I crazy? Did he? Was there a scene? I thought he was in the car with them. Did he run away? Get in the car. I feel like a scene of him running away was missing. I think you're right. Yeah, I I did remember that. Um, I I thought I looked down at my phone at the wrong time, and and I think we might have looked out of the truck. I don't think I did. I was gonna say, is there really that all four of us happened to look at our phones the same time? It's possible. Tommy jumped out of the truck. Well, I doubt it. I'm I'm uh, for the for the viewers that don't know, I'm again recording remotely, so I was watching the movie separately, and I just thought that that was me. Like I missed something in the film, but now that you guys are all saying it, like we all were like, did. We fuck up, and then um. And we didn't rewind also, that scene, but it we did rewind it four times. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that. But yeah. it was also like they got back, and they were like, "Oh, well, like so and so, like two of the main, like we missed two of the main so the grandpa, characters going off looking for the like." I feel like that yeah. had to be a scene where they were like, "We're gonna go find them." Yeah, and the main guy, that had to be the main scene. guy who. Um, it had to. They were two of the main characters. Yeah, the main guy who runs the halfway home. Who didn't even just they didn't even show them exit. Yeah, they just so showed they were, that's because we're the, we were following people who are gone. So when they came back, the people who were at the house were like, 
He left. He said he was looking for blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I don't feel like there was a missing scene there, but I do think there was one for Tommy. For sure. Um, but it is weird that, like, the main – like, two of the main characters – we didn't get to see die. We just found their dead bodies. So, like, yeah. I, I feel like they shot the movie, and they're like, okay, like, we want to do a thing where, like, you think Tommy might be crazy and might be dressing up as Jason. But then they, like, after they, like, finished it, they are like, oh, fuck. Like, we didn't shoot a scene where Tommy ran out. Oh, f- so it just doesn't make sense. Well, I will say they, it was effective because for a minute there when they're in the par- barn, I was like, it must be Tommy that's behind that Jason mask. Yeah. Um, and then Tommy comes running up. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay, never mind. I will say uh, we complained about the first one, like like when you're introduced to who the killer is, you're just like, who, what? This one I think does a better job of like – Explaining. Some, up. Well, there's some misdirection. It's like, okay, right. like is it – okay, is it Tommy? Is it Jason? Uh, it, is, did Jason come back? Um, is it the crazy guy with the axe who killed the chocolate bar kid? Right. Because oh, yeah. um, you don't see what happens to him either. I mean, you assume yeah. he goes to jail, but you don't know. Yeah, yeah you um, see him in the cop car, like, drive away. But I will say yeah. it's still – I mean, well, okay, so they do kind of linger. There's some shots that kind of linger on that Roy, right? Um, it's still not a mystery you could, like, guess. Right. But there's no way that you would know that, like, oh, he – which – I don't know. I saw him. I saw him right away. As soon as they lingered on him for more than one second, I was like, "Oh, something the fuck is." Yeah, that guy's crazy. But if you remember when the chocolate bar kid kid dies, the main guy who runs the uh, halfway home, he's like, "Oh yeah, he's just been going from house to house. He's an orphan." Yeah, well, that's what the chocolate bar kid said too. He said, "I'm an orphan." The mom died in birth, and they don't know where the dad ever went or who he is. But then, but then Roy, his wallet shows a like a picture of him yeah so they say like i don't know why he never i don't know it's a stretch i mean here's the thing i don't think the twist is handled that great but it's something it's more than the first movie was yeah it's the first time there's been a twist in any of these movies yeah um i want to talk about my favorite two characters which are the Ooh, baby. Ooh, ba- oh my god, that scene is bizarre. Whoa. That's a, my I favorite love, scene. I love the brother. Like, they come to his van, and he's like, hey, man, you want some enchiladas? And he's like, I got some pizza, I got some sushi, I got an egg roll. Like, how much food does he's this like, guy have? He's, whipping random food out, and then, um, yeah, him and, and his he gets sick from his enchilada. Yeah, he's probably like, been sitting in his car. For- and he runs away to the, to the outhouse. And is shitting, and then his girlfriend is outside the outhouse, like fucking with him. And then they start, then they start, they start flirting, singing to and each singing other. To each other. Ooh, baby. Yeah, he's taking. Ooh, ooh, baby. Baby. Ooh, ooh, baby. Ooh, ooh, I gotta say though, it's stupid fucking scene. But like when he's like in the porta potty and like he's he's got the pole sticking through. That's actually like kind of. It's like, a great. That I, was a great honestly, scene. That whole scene. With, awesome. like, her shaking it, and then Ooh, they sing for a while while he shits, and then she, like, dies, and he's getting stabbed. Like, I think that was my favorite scene in the whole movie. Oh, oh, those enchiladas. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Also, I do think the, the brother was, like, my favorite character. He was fucking cool, man. Uh, Reckless Reggie? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, brother of Reckless Reggie. Reckless Reggie's brother. Oh, okay. I like Reckless Reggie. Although he's- Michael Jackson in the 80s. Yeah, <laughs> he he belt out a girlish scream. Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. Oh, that was hilarious. Yeah, I mean, I think it was a normal scream for like a eleven year old child. But, yeah. I, I, I want to tell you my most uh, weird scene of the movie that didn't need to be there, but I also very much enjoyed was when that one dude pulled up to the restaurant. Yes, and he's like, "Let's party!" Blah blah blah. It's like, who the fuck are these people? <laughs> Scene. So that's the thing about this movie. But she just pulls her tits out. Yeah, she's like, wow. look at these bad boys. I was Ooh. About that. So many tits in this movie. She goes, she goes it's yeah. showtime. <laughs> you pull your top off. But she's like flashing herself. Yeah, right? she's flashing the mirror. Yeah. It's and then, terrible. okay, and then she takes a little, little bottle that's spray and she sprays it in your mouth. So you're like, okay, it's like a Listerine spray. But then she sprays it on her tits also. So I don't know if it was perfume or Listerine, but they don't 
go both of those places. All right. Can. I got to defend that moment, and I appreciate it because <laughs> – Austin, whenever Austin goes on a date, he likes to dip his dick in a bunch of, like, <laughs> mouthwash. Hey, it makes it smell good Ooh, and taste baby. good. Ooh, and taste baby. good. That's the secret. <laughs> Just per, if you, you spray perfume that, yeah, perfume there, <laughs> perfume. Uh, if you spray perfume there, it's not going to taste good. It's going to taste awful. But if you spray Listerine, now you're talking. Minty fresh. Yeah. <laughs> Minty fresh. <laughs> Just smell like a fucking clean mouth. But I gotta say, if you dip your dick in Listerine and then fuck someone, that would burn the shit out of a dick. Do you have experience I think it would with burn that? the shit would out also of burn the shit out of a dick. Yeah. yeah. Do you have experience with that? With Listerine in a vagina? Yeah. yeah. No, but I've used Listerine and it burns my mouth, so I can only <laughs> imagine what it would do to other mucous membranes. Ew, don't play uh, your vagina mucus membrane I, ever again. I, so we'll, I honestly gonna, did that just so oh, Jeff could a just mucus be, membrane. You want to feel my mucus membrane? Oh. All right, we're going to try that, and then when Jeff, we do part six, we'll get back to you. Yeah. My mucus membranes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so let's so good. I, I do want to bring something up sure because i'm noticing this is a theme with all the movies and there is a lot of uh like kills or things that happen in this movie that are similar to the previous ones so jason loves throwing someone in through a window <laughs> yes that happens in every movie mm-hmm. he yeah. loves leading people into a barn yeah, the barn is back in this one. He also he loves the sleep. under mattress, uh, yeah. under mattress the stab. Under, hold the head down, under mattress. Yeah, he yeah. loves he loves putting one hand on someone's forehead while he kills them. For sure. Um, God, there's some other ones too where I was like, well, that was just like a previous one. So now that we're talking about kills, I, I do want to notice that I, for me there was a huge jump in lack of quality of kills in this. Okay, film yeah. So the NBAA. Fuck this movie. That's what I assume. And and oh god. But they I, allowed way more tits. They're like, okay, you can go freak flag with the tits. Um, I like but, that. <laughs> but the kills are just gonna be awful, and you're not gonna see shit. So it's yeah. kind of interesting. So the director of this movie, I don't have his, I don't have his name. Actually, I have it right here. Big Dum Dum. Danny Steenman. He directed porn. Uh, and I think the one that was me. like, okay, if I put a lot of nudity in this movie, the MPAA will focus on that, and the kills will kind of go under the radar. Did not really work out. Yeah. Because um, this one has by far the most nudity. And I think God, like, the kills like could have been so cool. Yes. They just fucking caught them. There's a couple that are effective and intact. I really like the, oh, I mean, we're kind of jumping ahead. Well, fuck it. Should we just get into, like, categories? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. like, best kill a movie for me, I think, is, like, well, I like the hedge clippers and the eyes. If I could have seen it, it would have been cooler. But right. you, do, you do see the after of it. I like yeah. the... I, I wasn't like expecting there to go in the in the eyes. I thought it was a throat kill. Uh, but the, the, the when he puts the when he has the guy to the tree and he like oh tight. yeah he puts a belt around yeah. his like eyes and just keeps tightening it. I couldn't suspend my disbelief for that. I was the entire time I was just thinking those fucking rings would have spread way before the bones cracked in his eyes. Right, the belt would have cracked before it like yeah eyes, but it was still a fun kill. Yeah, it was fun. What is <laughs> the belt, <laughs> belt would have cracked before the eyes? I think so. Or the stick. I just, I think it's definitely stick. those rings that did that weren't even welded together. Those definitely would have bent before anything happened to the eyes. Yeah, I oh, agree. I did like. Um, I don't know. The greaser kill where he puts the um the road the, the flare, road flare in, the in the guy's mouth. That uh, was that's it. what I have written down as my favorite. I took three notes. Do you want to hear them? Yes. yes. Please. All right. Oh my god, he took notes. Whoa, I, I didn't want to forget these three moments. First of all, we didn't even mention this. Chocolate Bar's guy's real name is Victor J. Fett, which I thought was <laughs> the funniest thing in the fuck your world. Hey, did you look that up on IMDb? No, I just heard him say Victor J. Fett died. <laughs> I just started fucking laughing my ass off. <laughs> That's awesome. Victor J. Fett! Especially, especially since he's an orphan, so they probably assigned him that name. Hey, what's your name, kid? 
fat. He's like, Victor? And they're like, well, you're a little fatty, too, so we're going to call Victor you Victor G. Fat. <laughs> it's it a real Han Solo situation. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. You're by yourself? We'll call you so. <laughs> oh, you're an orphan and fat? We'll call you fat. fat. <laughs> Actually, I'm, like, the guy was offering you a candy bar. I would have taken it. No, I don't take candy bars from people who have chocolate all over their he face. He did piss me off when he got the, the clean laundry. Yeah, come on, dude. You know you have chocolate all over your fingers. Why are you going to touch the laundry? Well, he's regal. You fool. Victor Fat. All right. Victor Fat. What were the other notes you wrote down? Okay, so the second note I wrote was flare kill, because I definitely thought I was by and far the best okay. kill of the film. It was a fun one. I would say, honestly, that was a great kill, but my favorite kill scene was Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. <laughs> I like the I just like the preamble to it. I think I might go with that. Which path? Well, the porta potty. The Ooh, baby. Oh, song. Ooh, baby. And I just said? Uh, yeah. I think I <laughs> He did not listen to her at all. Well, no, I thought you were talking about your favorite moment was the Ooh, baby. Ooh, I said, my. Wait, let's hear Austin's third note. Yeah, Austin's third note. I'm too pissed. It's very anticlimactic, but I have Junior most annoying. Meaning, and I wrote this down right when he was riding that stupid fucking motorcycle. Yeah. Around. I was like, they hurt me. They hurt me. You little fucker, shut up. Yeah. That was um, the, the, most, the most joy I felt in the whole movie was the him getting his head yeah. chopped off. God, that was wonderful. I, also was so thought it, I thought it was so funny that his mom, like, hated having this, like, you know, yeah, psych kids. ward next to him, uh, like near her house and stuff. But her kid was cool. the only person who really should have been there. Everyone else was there for like <laughs> listening to music too much or enjoying Dance, sex. Dancing the robot. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'd like to bring up a point. Do you remember that guy who like randomly showed up and he's like, hey, I'll do honest work for an honest meal? Oh, well, and yeah. She's like, and she's like, oh, you go clean the shitter and then I'll feed you a belly full of. <laughs> But like they added so many random people. Yeah, so I was saying so many like random characters, and and and, and it's interesting doing the research for this. Like the studio was like, hey, like you need to have a kill like every you know five to ten minutes, but not show it. Well, that's (laughs) the NBA fucked them, but it's just like I feel like, and I wish I wonder if there's an uncut version of this. I would love to see it, but like I feel like they just threw in random characters just to get killed off. I mean, you're not like, I mean. I, I like, like that though. I guess I mean throughout the whole, this whole series, I mean, mo- I mean, if we're being honest, most of these characters you don't really care about, but like this one especially, it's like they just they enter and then exit the scene right. immediately. I mean, like you, you know what I mean? They, they just the greasers, random re- greasers were random. Uh, oh yeah, we so that greaser scene, not the one with the um the flare kill, but the mm. other kill, we <laughs> we round and watched that so many times. Because I couldn't figure out the physics of how he got his hand on his forehead and his other hand on the other Which side of him while I he said, was outside of the car. I said three times. I said, he's in the back seat. Do you yeah. Behind in the back seat. And they both were like, no, he's not. He's not in the back seat. And we were okay. it. We were around it three times, and I was like, this is maddening because he's in the back seat. He's like, obviously in the back seat hey. from fucking Jump Street. Like, well, it's okay. so obvious. The third time, I did agree with you, Molly. Yeah, but he put his hand out of the window in the back seat and then back into the front window to grab his head, and that's what was confusing me. Austin. Because his hand, his Austin, arm. Austin, you have to just accept this because I have, I had to watch this kill scene that was so obvious I now three agree. times. Shut up, Molly. I now agree. <laughs> he now agrees, but that he has he was in also the this weird outside, inside, hook around. You see it's him? Not, it's so him. obvious. Like, it's so plain. But plain you, see his arm, so... you see his arm blocking the view to the door, so his arm is outside of the car, so he's putting his arm Jeff. outside of the back window and then back in through the front window to grab his forehead. Right. No, dude, it's like an old car where there's no separation. Like, he's just reaching... No separation? There, there's not, like, a separate back window and front window. It's all just one big-ass window. Window. So no, if it's, oh, no. Because yeah. was, you can see the his arm block part of the car. The it back was part the back the, seat. It was the back seat. It's the only physical way, but he put his arm out of the back window and into the front to grab him. So the back window was probably down. He was in the back seat. No, it makes sense that he did that, but okay. it was a... 
he did it. That's why it confused me so much because you could see that. Yeah, his arm was I, I know why. I know why it confused. Watch us. it again, Austin. All right, so what's your favorite kill? <laughs> no, Rewind it four times. Okay. okay. Before, you guys, oh. flare, what's Before you guys steal my bathroom one, because I clearly said at the beginning of this episode that that was by far my favorite scene. It's obviously Ooh, the bad one. Yeah. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Ooh. It was by what far was the part that she was singing? Baby. It was like, ooh, honey, or some other word for baby? I don't remember. It was the only kill you actually got to see in this movie. Yeah. Oh, oh. the MPA. Oh, the MPA fucked this movie. I know. I think it was in the 80s. What, like, 85 was Nixon? No, uh, no, Reagan. Reagan. Oh. Yeah, yeah uh, and Reagan went real hardcore against like video games yeah. and um, music and movies and everything. Yeah. I, Reagan's the worst. Can I, ask, can I ask a question? So, this is what I don't understand. I'm kind of going on a tangent here. Uh, how old do you have to be to? I, I don't know this. If anyone knows, how old do you have to be to see a rated X movie? Um, like 18? 17. Well, 17 not, is like, R. Rated right. X is not in theaters. Yeah, they don't they put don't those yeah. in theaters. They, uh, they cut them down to a, a R-rated one, and then they when they come out on DVD, they'll do like the unrated. And they have NC-17, which is like the closest to rated X that you'll see in theaters. Okay, so and NC-17, like, I don't know. I feel like I just, I would, if, okay, I mean, I'm ignorant, but if I'm a studio, I'm like, fuck it, release an NC-17 in theaters. Who cares? Well, well I think a lot of theaters will not air it no, at yeah. that time, and I think a lot of people will not go see it because of that. especially a lot of, like, parts of the country. So, yeah. So, like, you got to think about, like, your southern yeah. states, your Midwest. Yeah. Right, like, Mississippi's I not guess, gonna oh, it's just, it's like, it's just, it's a shame. Because well, these are, like, kind of edited down to, like, almost nothing. Yeah, the kills were real disappointing in this one. Um, but let's talk about the tits. Yeah, so we did so many tits. Okay, so this this is why we created this category. I mean, this movie. Yeah, this category makes sense now. It, it does. Because <laughs> I was like, at the beginning, I'm like, God, I thought these movies had a lot more nudity. And <laughs> yeah. this one, God, so many gorgeous girls, so many great tits. Full tits. Um, Not what is half ass tit. What's your favorite nude scene? I think I like the girl in the when they're fucking in the woods. And yeah, she God, that's little. definitely my favorite. She's laying on her back, just relaxing. Her tits are like nice and out there. You see her ass after she dies, which is weird, but it's fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Hey, she used to be hot. Still is. <laughs> so, I actually, I have an answer for this that I don't think anyone else will have for my favorite tits of the movie um and it is pam paula what's her name oh pam this is, is oh yeah. pam white t-shirt contest thing Ooh. yes yeah right <laughs> the, the i knew austin gamblin would clock all the tits in the movie but yeah like, <laughs> she had the white blouse and she's running around in the rain she was hot and she had no bra on and you could just see like full on like her tits her blouse just clinging to her bare breasts right and it was that that i really was like that's, that's a good choice honestly that did get me a little horned up i'm not gonna uh, lie that was nice. Ed, i did i did like her nude scene um wait which one did you choose i i'm going to go with austin's the one where the, she gets killed okay, well, fucking in before the you floor. list all of them let other people choose yeah, theirs <laughs> I just, i'm excited titties <laughs> just excited all right you go um i'm gonna go with something different than okay. you guys even though i think that was one of the best but i just i just love that girl in the diner flashing herself <laughs> I I that just so funny it's she's going. like party time yeah, show time show time yeah. to, hey <laughs> self here's my tits <laughs> that was the most entertaining <laughs> tip flash yeah i think most entertaining nude scene goes to that yeah but sure. the sexiest nude scene girl in the woods yeah um, but I had honorable mention. Um, what was her nude scene? So that was so she. she uh, took a robot. Oh yeah, she was laying. It was just the fact. It was that so no, she just talked to the no she, she just talked to the uh, the stuttering guy. He said he wanted to make love with her, and she laughed in his fucking face <laughs> like a bitch. Uh, so a cooler. I, I think that scene could have gone so much better if like she laughed in her face, and then she realized he was serious. 
he walks away, and then she comes and like seductively takes a robe off, and it's like, fuck me. Oh my like, god, I think that would have been, been so much better. Way better. Yeah. yeah. Austin, you should direct Friday the 13th movies or porn. or pornography. Yeah. This director did both. <laughs> Austin kind of has the look of a porn director. Yeah, I yeah. yeah. <laughs> can you Can you spread your legs and bend over? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. Uh, most annoying. <laughs> Let me spray some Listerine on your ass. <laughs> Can you all uh, open up your pussy so I can spray some Listerine in it? Thank you. He's going to eat you out when he wants it to taste good. His Beautiful. breath stinks. Can you put some Listerine down in your pussy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, most annoying character? Chocolate bar. Chocolate, chocolate I agree. Bar? Chocolate. I mean, it's between Chocolate Bar or fucking the son of Oh, the, no. Yeah, it's the Junior bread. all day. Junior. Junior. Oh, you're right. I kind of yeah. liked Junior the whole time inst- until that bike scene. I mean, he was always an annoying yes. idiot, but like the I liked the dynamic too much. between him and his mom. The bike scene used the same shot twice. It went on way too long. I have a feeling yeah. if Chocolate Bar had made it past like the first five minutes, I would have hated him even more. True. Right. This movie really doesn't have a prankster. Well, I guess it kind of does. The guy who puts on Tommy's mask and yeah, fucks with him. So, guess- okay. So, I guess it does have a prankster. Right. Movie, but- yeah. yeah. What was wrong with that guy? He just liked to fuck, I guess. Yeah, yeah that was no, one of the, the fuckers. Two, the two were just in trouble because they fucked all the time. Right. That's crazy. These people look like kind of normal. Except Tommy. Tommy's fucked up, but it's so weird. Yeah, Tommy's the only one that's fucked up, and the two doctors do absolutely nothing to care for their patients. No. Also, Are they even doctors? I feel like they're just dudes or like people who I own thought, I thought they called them a doctor. Kids, whatever. <laughs> Um, okay, so I think we all agree. It's the, um, what are we Junior. Doing? Junior. Junior. <laughs> I'm drunk. Um, <laughs> all right, scariest moment. Oh, God. Ooh, Ooh I Ooh. think I know mine. Okay. Mine is, and I think this made Molly jump, so you might agree with me, Molly, is when you think he falls over mm-hmm. the barn, but then he pops right back up. That, that makes yeah. you jump. And grabs little kids. That was great. Um, I like that. That was mine. I'm trying to think of any other ones also. Um, I think the only jump scare that actually made me jump a little bit was like that prank scene where the dude came out with the mask and was like, boo. And then I'm like, oh, it's just somebody doing a prank. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for me, all of the jump scares I was able to predict. Yeah. Um, Except for the over the edge. Barn one. The over the edge one was just done so well because the camera like slowly was creeping down at those spikes and you're expecting right. to see his body there and then all of a sudden you just see his hand coming back up. No, instead. I was expecting them to look over and it'd be empty and then be like, he's still out there. Uh, but I wasn't expecting him to be like. <laughs> right. I think that was. If it comes to jump scares, then I I totally agree. That's the best one. For like creepiest thing. <laughs> Austin, are you bored by yourself in that hotel room? Yes. i been just playing with how, headphones. Like, how could you tell? Like, tied bunny ear headphones around his yeah. head, and he looks like a little ant. I feel like tennis. now you belong in that little yeah. halfway house. I have a, I have a, you love headphones so much. I have a you farm you there. can go work on. <laughs> All right. Will you fill you my belly afterwards? Uh, any anything else to mention before we get into trivia? I do want to I, I do want to say one thing really quick uh, sure. about the most annoying character who didn't get mentioned and he should have um, is the second greaser guy when he comes back to the car and he's, oh, singing, he's like, "Please start the car." Yes, that whole shit. that was improv. Yeah, the director was like, was uh, "We don't have any lines for you." Uh, you know, they just threw that in just so we like, we get some more kills. Right, right. Another honorable mention for annoying character was the other EMT who was like, bunch of pussies. <laughs> and then, yeah, yeah, it was child like, chopped to death under that sheet. What do you There's literally his people? arm on top of his very chopped and mangled corpse, and he's calling everybody a bunch of pussies for yeah. being sick. He's like laughing and smiling. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, I kind of like, I like the cop who's like, listen, I like what you're doing here, but like, get those kids from, stop them kids from fucking in the neighbor's yard, please. <laughs> I, you your dad with that impression. I know, right? Like, listen here, I like you, but stop having those kids fuck in the yard. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I have one more note before we sure. go to um, trivia. Um, Ooh, 
baby. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Um, do we? Uh, I, I don't know if I asked this. We talked about it a little bit. Do we like the twist? I guess I do. Okay. I, thought, I, I, would, I thought it was a fun twist. There hasn't been a twist to any of these movies. So. Wait, are we talking about the end twist? Because that yes. hasn't even really been brought. Okay, well, so okay I guess there's two twists. Okay, the killer's Roy. That's the first one. And right. The second one, I guess the very ending. I oh guess. yeah, I like that too. Tommy has the the blue. Well, because I when they showed Jason, I was like, oh wait, Jason, because um, Jeff I think said, oh that's the real Jason because he has the axe cut in his head. And he's also got red marks on his mask. That's what I said. I said, oh, also he has red stuff on his mask, and the other Jason has had blue stuff on his mask. Right. And then he pulled out the mask with the blue stuff out of his drawer. I was like, <gasps> Yeah. Like, foreshadowing. <laughs> Who's going to be the killer next time? I wonder. I don't spoil things on this podcast. I, nor have I ever <laughs> spoiled yeah. anything on any podcast. So my my prediction... My prediction was that the audience got really pissed that Jason wasn't technically in this at all. So the next one and the rest forever are all actually going to be Jason. That's my prediction. Ooh. I, I think the audience fought back about that. Let's get some triv. Let's okay. get trivia. Trivia. Okay. So there was originally a three minute long sex scene in the forest. That was longer. That was three minutes. What? The NPA mm. forced him to cut it to 10 seconds. The actress, get this, her name is Deborah Voorhees. Whoa. That's awesome. So she was a teacher, and she lost teaching jobs later in life when the school discovered her sex scene in the film. That's shitty. Jesus, that is shitty. That is shitty. Like, no. like listen, hey, I was just doing... I think what's more shitty is she made such little money off this that she had to go back to teaching. Oh yeah, uh, like like we've discussed, like the the budgets for these movies were nothing. I yeah, mean, these yeah. these actors. Well, what sucks is they, they probably wait, they probably wasted a lot of their budget on filming all the death scenes and then had to cut them. So like a huge part of their budget was probably props and like blood and kills, so you, they can make it look realistic. Ugh. And then you never get to see it. See, I think nowadays ugh, we were in a weird period in like the eighties where it's like yeah, I was not alive. Yeah, that was, that was weird. But I think you know because I think the like slasher movies. Like I don't think you guys realize like slasher movies. Like Halloween opened up a floodgate, and there was like a new slasher movie like every other week. And I think at this point, you what know, a this, fun time. this was kind of the peak of slashers. And I think the MPA was really like hounding down at this point. Right. Which Reagan is, came in with his cunt of a wife. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Old Mother Reagan came out waving her nasty ass pussy around, yeah. telling kids to say no to drugs. And well, she should have sprayed some Listerine on it. It wouldn't have been so nasty. Like a Listerine ass pussy. Listen here, kids, don't eat pussy, but if you do, wash your mouth out. She had Worst woman in she history, had Nancy Reagan. <laughs> uh, Corey Feldman's scenes were shot in the backyard of his neighbor's house. So basically. They wanted him to be in this movie. He was originally supposed to be like, re he was going to come back, which I don't know how that would have worked because he's only a year older in life. But in this movie, he's like five years older, but whatever. I wonder if they changed the whole movie. After but he had, that. he probably, it was original plan. And then he was in Goonies and he had scheduling conflicts and he only had like one weekend to work on it. So that basically they were like, uh, we'll come to you. And they just shot his scenes in his neighbors. I'm glad he did get So I got a theory about this. I bet they wrote the script with him being, a, you know, his actual age. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's why uh, Reggie, or not, is his name Reggie? The little kid? Yeah. Reckless Reggie. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, Reckless Reggie. They made them be, like, friends, right? Oh, like, my God. Like, I didn't think of that. That's a good, that's a good, uh, uh, wow. Yeah, that's actually great. But it's interesting. But also, if they rewrote the entire movie, well, they didn't rewrite the movie. They just recast with an just older person. Okay. That's well, interesting. But also, Tommy Jarvis is a bit of a red herring in this movie. And you Who? Can't Tommy Jarvis. Who? <laughs> the Corey Feldman. Why are you saying fucking... That's the character's name is Tommy. Oh, I don't give a shit. He didn't say anything. That character sucked. But 
He was better when he was. The whole child. idea is like he's fucked up. Like, is he doing the killings? Is it Jason? Is it someone else? Like, I th- you can't have a little kid like. You know what I mean? I'm saying like if you if you think it might be him, it wouldn't work because he's a little kid still. Right. No, that is interesting. So I don't know. Um. Yeah, I think he. <laughs> I think I would have liked his character a lot more if it was still young Corey Feldman. It would have made more yeah. sense for him to be. Because you would have wanted him. to fuck him the whole time. I've never said anything about. Uh, Corey Feldman. I, I gotta say, actually, no, no, no. I. During this entire movie, I was sitting next to Jeff on the couch, and he was rock hard. <laughs> but only, <laughs> but only in the first five minutes. The only, only the dream sequence in the beginning. And then, yeah, once he grew up, it was like a deflated balloon. <laughs> <laughs> all right, speaking of. All right, yeah. Speaking sure, of, I'll play along. Speaking yeah, of, I, I heard like a. <laughs> it was just <laughs> Jeff's dick going down as soon as Corey Feldman was old. Right. All right. So speaking of the opening <laughs> scene with Corey Feldman, you might want to listen to this. <laughs> so the opening was different. There was a different dream sequence. So it opens. It's a continuation of the last movie. And Tommy is taken to the same hospital as Jason's corpse. Then in a sudden fit of psychic rage, he winds up attacking half the hospital staff Trying to get the more, trying to get to the morgue to find Jason's bloodied body. Once he has finally found the body, Jason suddenly rises from the autopsy table. Immediately after, the adult Tommy wakes up in the van en route to the Pine House house. That uh, been a lot cooler. Person. I think that sounds like a cooler. Film. But uh, I, but I think the idea for that was to kind of make him more of a suspect early on. Hmm. And so. also, they could only film Corey Feldman in his neighbor's backyard. So. Right. Well, that's why they abandoned that. Yeah. So, <laughs> I love um, how they like rewrote this movie just to fit whatever they like needed. <laughs> you're, like, <laughs> you know? uh, you're in the red card. Like, like, uh, we don't really have a movie like, anyway. We only have a weekend, so it's going to have to be a ground level grave. <laughs> uh, it'll be fine. <laughs> we're shooting the we're shooting the scene in ten ten seconds, ten minutes. Okay. Put a. <laughs> What is happening right now? Make the grave shallow. <laughs> All right, next trivia. All right. <laughs> uh, oh. I don't know. Drunk. You're drunk. You had like two beers All right. there. John <laughs> Shepard. John Shepard, who the actor who played Tommy. Who? Corey, Corey Feldman. Feldman. Oh, okay, okay. Cool. <laughs> he uh, actually, to research for the role, he actually worked at a state mental hospital. Wow. Whoa. I gotta say, like, he doesn't say much, but, like, I totally believe this guy's crazy. He put the work in. True. Honestly, there's not many horrible actors in this, except for Junior. Yeah. Junior, yeah, he's awful. But, but I think he's I don't supposed know. to be awful. I think, yeah, I think he played the role that he's supposed to be pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. The acting was Honestly, yeah, I was, uh, I was, uh, impressed would be a strong word, but impressed in relation to the other movies with the acting in this one. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Rebecca Wood, who plays Lana. I don't know who the fuck Lana was. The restaurant tits. Yeah, restaurant tits. tits. Okay. Let's dream yeah, restaurant so, tits. Apparently, so they filmed her death scene, right? She gets like an axe. To that her we face. don't see. That we don't see. Into her stomach. But so after they filmed her scene, she still had like the axe glued to her face, and she was like walking down the highway, like or the road. <laughs> Like pretending to be a zombie, so all these cars are going by. Like, what the fuck? That's kind of cool. That's kind of fun. Yeah, she sounds like a real cool girl. Party? Yeah, <laughs> it's showtime. Okay, it's so three apparently the director like was like high, like he was on coke half, like most of the movie, mm-hmm. and he would be there like you he don't was, say. And he was either a so director with coke. He was either so coked up that he was like verbally abusive to everybody, or he was just like so fucking high that like the cinematographer had to like come in and like film some of the scenes. Wow. He loved coke so much that he gave cocaine a cameo in the film. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if real also, I read yeah. this kind of a douchebag. He uh, one of the actresses he like propositioned for sex, and then no. and one actress was like cast. And uh, she didn't want to do uh, a nude scene, so he just like fired her. 
He's a porn director. Are we surprised that he's on blow and trying to fuck everyone? Yeah, ex- exactly. He's a, he's say, a porn guy. Thing, I'm like, that adds up. Like, that adds up for any director, but let alone a fucking... Yeah. Someone who used to be a porn director. Ooh, oh, this yeah. one's good. Okay, so this is the last one I have. I saved the best, best for last. Um, did you guys know that Molly was a camp counselor? Ooh, oh. Did you know that Molly... Well, I mean, it doesn't really have anything to do with this one. So, did you know Molly has lived in an insane asylum? No! <laughs> you know that we've all been in an insane asylum the whole time! <laughs> this isn't even a real podcast? Why is this microphone an Apple now? <laughs> you realize everyone, they went around actually taking pictures of all of us for the best friend bulletin board on the wall, and we all have our arms around nothing. What? <laughs> Wait, so wait. <laughs> I'm real, but n- you guys aren't real in my mind. But, I'm but you're real. also real. Yeah, there's just a mic in front of you and no, 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 I think we're all in I think we're all imaginary. Um I have another fun none fact. None of us were real. What's a, what's another fun fact? You did some research too? Yeah, I did some research. Um and it turns out that when Molly takes a shit, she likes to go, Ooh, baby. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Okay. Um, wow. Should we do final thoughts and rate this out of five? Yeah. Who wants to go first? Out of five slashes? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Five slashes. Five packs. Oh, I'll go first if nobody else wants to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you go first. Yeah. Go, All right. Go, do so it, this film... Like I said, I think this was the cheesiest, campiest one that I've seen yet. Uh, but I also had a lot of fun watching it. The kills were terrible. Mm-hmm. Um, but that one fucking flare kill was pretty dope. That was there was a lot of tits. A lot of tits. Um, so I'm going to give this, I think, three out of five stars. Uh, it's my s- – probably – if I had to rank it in all the uh, Friday the 13th that we've seen so far, I would rank this second to last, with third being the last. Okay. But I thought this was head and shoulders above number three. Really? Yeah. You guys don't like part three. Oh, you and me do, Molly. I thought three three wasn't my least favorite. Three four was, was the one. I need it. So four is Corey Feldman, and it's the family next door to the kids who rent the lake house. Yes. So yeah. He's the one with the annoying Seth Rogen guy. Right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Two is but the with one the cool with black Jenny. Game. Yes. And then one is one. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just needed to sort that out in my head because I was. They like, all blend together. They do all blend. <laughs> well, together. So this, yeah, I mean, it's the same. They're all the same fucking movie. Right. right. Same yeah. killer, same kills for a lot of them. Um. Well, you wanna go? Yeah, I'm actually gonna go ahead and say I'm kind of in the kiss on the mouth club with Austin because. <laughs> I also am going to give it a three out of five because it, yeah, the kills were kind of disappointing. Um, there was fun nudity though. I like the story, how like fucking nonsensical it was. I loved all the <laughs> random characters that kept like coming in and just getting murdered immediately. Um, so yeah, three out of five, I think, uh, is a fair score for this one, but I got to say, I don't remember what I've ranked any of the other ones, so I don't know where it falls on my list. I think you were like three and a half or three. I think I'm going to put two number one, four number two, or vice versa, because I really liked four. Um, I don't think you're remembering four. She does with Corey Feldman. I know you remember four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I part Actually, maybe, maybe I liked three more than four. I don't remember. I think you liked four better. I just know this one falls in the middle. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, so this one had Corey Feldman in it, so this is your... And well, well, so well actually, no, four was ranked my least favorite last time. So. I do want to say I was a camp counselor, so I like to <laughs> take place at camp. Don't put some mystery in your policy. <laughs> way ahead. <laughs> way ahead. Um, yeah, so the kills were probably the worst of all the yeah. movies. The kills uh, sucked. Uh, that, hey, fuck you, MPA. And that, uh, it's one of my main things that I love about a horror movie, so that, that made it go down. 
Nudity went way up, which is yes. always a, something I also want in a horror movie. So <laughs> know that. Yeah, okay. And then um, the – I like the twist. I like the idea that, like, at first we were all like, what the fuck? They're not near Crystal Lake. I thought Jason has to be near Crystal Lake. Maybe that's still true. It wasn't Jason. Oh. You know, so, like, the rules still apply. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, I think a lot of fun characters. I love the whole insane asylum and everyone in it. Um, and the fact that they like were just normal kids, <laughs> you know, like one girl was a little too emo and like music. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, and then I mean, it was a masterpiece scene of the oh baby scene and the whole. Oh baby, oh baby. baby. That is my favorite scene out of the whole. <laughs> yeah, it it's might be. Part. It's so funny. Oh, oh those enchiladas. <laughs> but like overall, I had a lot of fun watching this one. I would love to be in a universe where I got to see it with the full kills. Yeah. Because I think that would put this as my number one. I agree. But I think right now this is my number two of all of them. Um, I will rank it a 2.5. Okay. Um, and, yeah, number two is by far the best still. I think I gave that a full four. Um, but, yeah, based on – yeah, so number two is the best. This is my second favorite, number five. And then three, and then one, and then four. Okay. All right. All right. So for me, I know this, it's kind of hated amongst fans, but I actually had a lot of fun with this. I think it takes, it, it, it I think it does what, uh, you know, a, a, a franchise should it, you get to the point where you need to do something different, but mm-hmm. also follow the same formula. I think that does this very well. Right. We're in a different setting. We're away from crystal camp. And I like how it's more of like kind of a psychological thriller. Like, like Tommy is crazy. Like, is he, is he doing the killings? Is, is, is Jason still alive? Is it somebody else? Like, I thought that was an interesting twist. Yeah. Unfortunately, the, ugh, the MPAA just, Bent this movie yeah, over fuck and just Reagan. fucked it. it. It put Listerine on its dick and it <laughs> fucked this movie. And there's so many great ideas for kills, but they're just right, they're cut. right. Like yeah, you can see that they had they had so many awesome kills. Like I would have loved to see that fucking scissor sheer kill in her eyes. Like that that would probably have been my favorite kill if we got to actually see it. And the that sad part brutal. is like, and uh, to jump ahead a little bit, like this movie doesn't even get fucked the most by the MPA. There's other movies in the series that, like, get it In worse. the future? Yeah. Spoilers, Barrett. Um, when does Reagan die? He, well, he, I don't know, but he's dead. He's dead, but so he, can't, <laughs> he can't fuck with Friday the 13th movies anymore, but we yeah. Should dig up his fucking grave. Um, yeah, the kills. <sighs> great ideas for yeah. kills. I, I don't, I, I didn't really look into this. I, I, I hope there's an uncut version. I don't know if there is. Um, but uh, the nudity was great. Um, you had some fun characters. Granted, I just, I kind of feel like there's maybe too many characters. There's just so many random people that kind of come in. <laughs> there's and a out. lot, yeah. <laughs> um, I, I don't think, I think we could, would have used, uh, we didn't need Lana and Coke boyfriend. And we didn't need a random guy who was going to clean out chicken shit for a meal. Well, I think Did that guy even that. get killed? I don't even remember no, seeing that guy killed. dying. So, you, so he's he like killed watching the people. Fall. Yeah, yeah, he's watching uh, the fuck and then he gets killed. That's right. Um, yeah, just so many characters are just kind of just in and out, underdeveloped. Right. Um, Honestly, every single character in this entire series is underdeveloped. You're um, right. You're right. Well, I will say this: some characters get a little something. Right. And oh, but most of the characters like, in this movie. Ooh, baby. Yeah, like, well, yeah, like a lot of a lot of the characters in these movies get a little fun scene. Yeah, um, yeah, like you said, but like in this movie especially, like, do you think that if we were able to see the actual kills the way they recorded them, you would still feel like there was too many characters? Because like, if you got to see cool kills, I wouldn't mind a character joining in for no reason and right. dying very right. quickly. Right. So, yeah. so it almost renders it a little bit pointless just because there's just not right. 
the, the kills aren't that effective. Um, I honestly, I would raise my 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 rating a star if the the killings were still intact. Right. Um, a slash. But I think I would probably go okay. So I think I'm gonna go. <gasps> you know what? I want to go three and a half. Well, I like this movie. I thought it was decent, and I probably could have. Re- re- Rated it a half a star, half star higher if the kills were intact. Right. Um, I just I think I like what it does. It, 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 it you know it, it's fresh, does something different with the series. Yeah. Um, and I can understand fans' frustration. They felt duped that Jason wasn't in it. I don't like. That. I don't think that necessarily means it's it, it's a bad the movie though. Jason was very much in it. So um, yeah, if I had to rate this, I would say. I'm gonna go two off two. Two's probably gonna uh, be the best throughout this whole thing. <laughs> four. I'm gonna go one, then five, then three. Okay. That's my final rating so far. I, All right. So this one was worse than number one. But here's the thing, i i I have not disliked any of these movies so far. No, I'm having a great time. And with I gave all it a three and a half. I mean, it's pretty decent. Yeah, I think I like the first one. I, I will say, I mean, it does kind of set up the reveal a little bit better. Actually, a lot bit better. This still, one, what, yeah, one? it's still kind of clumsily. It's still not a a reveal or a mystery you could guess. But it, it's Molly guessed it very quickly. Boom! Right. But that's right. only because they like if you like. That's my yeah. that's my female intuition. You right. know, <laughs> Jewel song. Your intuition. Yeah, followed by intuition. Um. But yeah, that All was right. part five. There we go. And we uh, did it. We will see you in a couple of days for part six. Jason lives. Ooh, Jason lives. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Ooh, ooh, baby. baby. Ooh, baby, ooh, baby, ooh, baby.